Hey everybody, Seth with Everyman Prepping here today with you. How is everybody doing today? And as usual, we got a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of chaos, turmoil. We've got Netanyahu giving speeches and protests. We got Biden maybe with a proof of life giving a video address today. Will it be live? Is it pre-recorded? You know, proof of life saying that, you know, he's there. We got Kamala thing going on. We got all kinds of stuff going on that we need to talk about because... Uh, this country is, you know, at a boiling point. It's on a razor's edge. All that, whatever terminology you want to use, that's where we're at. And um, you got to spread the word. Got to wake people up. You got to see what's really going on. You got to see that our country is in, eh, it's in trouble. And there's some stuff going on that I'm going to show you here that's going to kind of prove what you need to look out for, so you can kind of see the state we're in. To know, the more you know, the better prepared you're going to be, and the less shocked you'll be when things happen. And you'll be able to, you know, react to them appropriate instead of just sitting there with your jaw dropped and shocked that something actually happened. So let's go ahead and get started. As we do, hit that like button, subscribe, uh, the bell notification, share this uh, channel, share the video, all that great stuff. Let's try to get this out. Appreciate everything you guys do for me. But let's look at this. Let's start off with Kamala here. By the way, if you don't pronounce Kamala, Kamala correctly, means you're a racist. That's racist. That's a new thing coming out. So. Uh, uh, whatever it is, I'm going to call her Kamala. I don't even know if that's correct or not, and I don't really care. But anyway, so, you know, she's, you know, basically, what I put out here is uh, what I wrote. She's basically been despised by the White House the last three years. You know, she refused to do anything asked. She was supposed to be the border czar. I don't think she ever went there. She never did anything. They've kind of been hiding her, putting her, you know, just, uh, you know, showing up at certain events. But uh, there's a lot of tension between... Uh, Kamala and Biden in the White House. You know, they're not really getting along. They're not really friends at all. They're more or less adversaries. But now everybody's supporting her. Uh, she's getting all the delegates, all the senators coming out, governors. We got polit uh, other politicians. We got the uh, Hollywood people coming out. Everybody thinks this person here can beat Trump. Something's not right because it's not going to happen. Uh, no one thinks she can. I don't think the deep state or they or them, the elites, Soros, thinks she can actually win. Yes, they're throwing all the weight behind her, but... Something's not right. Something else is going to happen. I mean, Trump survived uh, his elimination event, we'll call it. Um, and I don't think that was supposed to happen. And Biden was going to stay uh, if, you know, Trump was eliminated because that was the biggest threat. But that didn't happen by about two or three millimeters, maybe a centimeter or so. Um, so now they throw Kamala out there. I still think something's happening. This is weird. Um, there, there's no way they think, the, you know, this person's going to win. So it's just strange to me that this gaining speed. But we should see. But I think there's more to do with this. Trump better have some good uh, third-party security, if you ask me, uh, based on some of the stuff you're going to see. By the way, talking about that, the Secret Service has come out saying to Trump, and this could be campaign interference. I don't know. Sounds like it to me. Telling Trump that uh, he should have only indoor events at much reduced crowd size. They basically want him to have a, a Biden campaign where you have a couple hundred people, if that many, in an indoor place and have a rally. You know, he can't have a rally. They're saying don't have a rally outdoors, keep crowds small indoors. That's not, you know, how he, it works, you know. You know, their job is to protect him. His job is to campaign. He is known for huge rallies outdoor, firing up people. Um, they want to limit that probably because it'll, well, hurt his reelection. So that's going on. But moving on from that, I want to show you this. This video, it's a da not dash cam, it's a um, body cam footage uh, from one of the uh, either SWAT or Secret Service or somebody on the roof. And at the point where the video is at right now, let me see if I can expand this for you here. You can see that someone's pointing at this window over here. And I don't know if you can't really see my, let me see if I click that way. Can, I don't want to play it for you. I want to see if I can display it. Let me roll that back. And there we go. Okay, so there's they're pointing at the windows on the other building. And uh, I'm not going to play this whole thing through because YouTube will probably strike it. But um, uh, this, uh, you know, guy holding the weapon here, talking with the body cam and saying, well, there's Secret Service in that window. And they took pictures of the shooter. Now, they took pictures of him. Why didn't they, well, stop the shooter? But they took pictures and sent him out. And they said, yeah, I think it's Greg. Greg's in that window. Go talk to Greg. Um, I'm not sure why Greg didn't stop this to begin with. And this is a Secret Service guy right here in black and a red tie. You know, he's trying to take notes. He's talking to everybody up here. And as we move this way, you can see it's blocked out, blurred out. There's the, the shooter on the ground there. But 
go search this video out. You can see who it's who posted it up here. I'll let you, you know, at Nick Sorter. I don't even know who that is, but I found the video. You got to watch and listen. It's basically these, they're acting very nonchalant. There's no sense of urgency, no sense of purpose. They're saying that building behind, yeah, Greg, the Secret Service guy was in there and he took some photos. Go talk to him. He saw the shooter. Why wasn't Trump pulled off state? It's amazing. The more that comes out, the more you can see that this probably wasn't a 20 year old on his own doing this. Um, the whole thing from the drones flying overhead two hours before that came out in the FBI today when Ray was in front of um, one of the House panels or Senate panels saying, yeah, the uh, shooter flew a, a drone over the, uh, you know, the Trump site two hours before it started. What the hell is going on there? Why is that a 24 hour, you know, airspace lockdown? I don't know. The more you find out, the crazier it gets. Anyway, search this out. Uh, and, and you can find it if you want to follow me at what I, you know I linked it on on X or Twitter whatever you want to call it these days it's at everyman prepper and uh, you can find it in the description down below if you want to find the link you can just click on the link and join me there and then we have this so this is Netanyahu let me just pause we don't need to see him he visited the uh, Congress today joint session gave a speech the biggest thing here we want to point out is um, he wants weapons faster he needs more weapons he needs more money it says, fast-tracking U.S. military aid could dramatically expedite an end to the war in Gaza and help prevent a broader war in the Middle East. So he wants more weapons, and he wants them faster. And remember, we just gave $61 billion to Ukraine. Uh, makes it well over $100-some billion going over there. Israel wants more uh, weapons. By the way, there's tons of protests going on. I'm going to get that in a minute. Of course, there's about 80 Democrats that uh, boycotted this, including uh, Kamala didn't show up, Biden didn't show up. Um, you know, so read into that, whatever you will, but you know, he's, he's here basically begging for more weapons and money. So, uh, keep that in mind when we go to this next story. So here we have the Pentagon wants to help the soldiers, our soldiers, us soldiers protecting our country, me and you. All right. You know, inflation is going through the roof. So they're going to give them an economic hardship bonus and it's going to average 20 bucks a month, $20 a month. Now, I don't want to go get angry as I am inside and express that, but put this out. E1 through E3, lowest rank enlisted soldiers, need the money the most. When I was in the Army and the military, they had very tough back then. And I would help them out doing their taxes, helping them budget, you know, make sure they can pay for their, their, you know, their kids' food and their rent and all that. They're, they struggled. E1 through E3, all, all the NCOs, all of them struggle uh, and enlisted. But E1 through E3 the most. They're going to give them an average of 20 bucks a month. That means some are getting less than 20 bucks a month for this economic hardship for only six months, 120 bucks total. And Netanyahu's here saying I need more money and I need more billions. Zelensky has got 61 billion, but we got 20 bucks a month uh, for our soldiers. That's the state the military is in. That's the state the country's in. So I don't know if that pisses you off, but it pisses me off. Uh, just seeing like I said, it's just one of those, like, so we're going to go through a bunch of stories and show you the decline of the country, the decline of the people and how the government is basically stepping on their neck. So I just want to show that to you. And then we'll get to this. So this is part of the protest. It says, as you can see, Washington, D.C. This is at Union Station in Washington, D.C. Uh, what do we have here? These are three American flags that fly there. And um, these protesters taking the flags down. Why is there no police? Did they not expect protests? They said, oh, they're being you know, pushed back by the protesters. Uh, it's getting violent. That's what the police are for. That's what National Guard's for. That's for sheriffs, whoever. Why weren't they prepared? Why didn't they have enough? Maybe they did it on purpose. Maybe they wanted to protest. Because, as you can see when I play this, they are taking down the U.S. flag. This is you know, public property. They got someone up there, all these protesters. Why is no one stopping them? Uh, you know, this is basically vandalism partial insurrection, terrorism, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm sure if that was a pride flag coming down, they'd be arrested. And then they host a Palestinian flag. They put it up and replace. So, and then what they do, they burn the American flag. And so on a side note, why is burning the American flag free speech, but burning a LGBTQ flag or anything like that, you can see it right there burning, that's a hate crime and you get arrested. But this is free speech and that's fine. Shouldn't it all be free speech? Let me burn whatever flag I want. So. Once again, more of the decline. No one's arrested. Uh, you know, there's clashes going on right now, but, you know, 
it's not stop it's not stopping these protesters. It's almost like they're letting them go on. I don't know. Well, what do we got going on here? Got someone coming down the driveway. Looks like it's okay just to deliver a guy. But I don't know. I, I, if you ask me, sometimes they let these protests go on. Uh, I'm sure if this was a uh, Trump rally, Trump protest, MAGA, these people would be beaten back by the police in, in a moment. Speaking of lack of security, this is what went on. Let me back it up here. This is, uh, we don't need that sound. This is inside of uh, the Watergate Hotel, I call it, in Washington, D.C. This is Netanyahu's place, and you can see the Palestinians broke in there. They threw crickets and maggots and mealworms and all kinds of stuff throughout the hotel on his banquet table. Um, they pulled the fire alarms and all that stuff. Let me start it back over here. There, you can see this is where they're going to eat meat. How do they get in here? By the way, you know, Netanyahu, like him, hate him, whatever, he's a leader of another country. Where's his security detail? How is it that people break into where he's going to have lunch or whatever's going on here and throw stuff all over down his hallway in the hotel? Where in the heck is security? Where's the security in this country? You need to protect these people. Like I said, whether you like it or not, they got to be protected. Who's to say someone's not going to plant a device in there to you know, blow up or something or do something else in the hotel? I mean, it's crazy the lack of security going on. That was my biggest takeaway from this. And yeah, they're throwing this stuff around, but where's the security going on in this country these days? All right, let's move on from there. Oh yeah, this one. This is, uh, you know, you probably heard Yellowstone. Uh, one of the geysers blew up, threw rocks everywhere. You're going to see a lot of doom porn on, on uh, YouTube right now and other channels uh, saying Yellowstone's going to blow. The caldera's going to go. We're all going to die. It's going to take out the whole Midwest, whatever. Uh, my opinion, from some of the people I follow, space weather guys and all that, not going to happen. This is a blow off of steam. That caldera is not going to explode. We're fine. Don't worry about it. Don't succumb to this. Um, you know, it's you know great um, click fodder and all that. But yes, they had a great explosion there. But it's not. It's, you're not going to need to worry. You need to worry about all all these stories I just posted before you and you know the fall of this country rather than Yellowstone blowing off. That's going to happen way before this this Yellowstone volcano goes off if it ever did. Moving on, let's go see some other just really quick stories. We have this here. These are dragon's teeth between Latvia and Russia. They're going to start, you know, put them along the border there because everything's fine. Nothing happens. Don't worry about this. Everything's good. And then we'll go on to this story. The European Union wants to build a comprehensive database uh, of assets owned by its citizens. You know, and by the way, when it starts in Europe, they're going to probably try it here as well. Uh, probably Australia as well, New Zealand, all that. But... So the EU wants to build a list of, and I'll get to a reason why here, we'll read in blue, of your assets. Uh, any real estate, securities, banks, things like that, oh, vehicles. Then they throw in at the end precious metals, you know, gold and silver, and art. So they already know about everything else. You know, they know if you have a house because you've know, got a loan, you pay property taxes, government knows that. Government knows what's in your bank accounts. They know what securities you own because it's your paying taxes and they're registered and all that. Um, you know, they know about everything that you, if it's licensed or a registry pay tax on it, they know. What the, your precious metals and your art and all that, they don't know about, it, especially if you paid cash for it uh, over there and all that. So they're basically, if you, this is cover to come for your gold, your silver, your other precious metals and your other assets that are off the books. It says here, critics fear that the register could be uh, misused in times of crisis uh, to use citizens' assets to pay off debts. I don't know if it would or not, but it seems to me they want to find out who has precious metals and other assets they don't know about. Will they tax them? Will they confiscate them? I don't know. Keep your eyes for this. for coming to a country near you, though. And then what do we have here? We have a, a Russian drone struck Romania, possibly, a NATO country. A, sh what is that? a Shahid drone struck Russia last night. Um, this is, you know, 40, it says 45 minutes ago. This was last night. Um, and we, they were attacking the port in Ukraine. It's the uh, port of Ismail, I believe it's called. Uh, and it you know, actually hit R Romania, in, you know, a town of Plaru, Romania. Now, is that an Article 5 event? Yeah, you know, Russia attacked Romania. Did they do it on purpose? No, probably was either hit by anti-aircraft, flew off, some other countermeasure, or just a mistake. Uh, you know, if you haven't heard anything about this, because Romania, NATO are not going to bring it up. Russia is not going to bring it up. 
Um, if it was an actual attack, you would see something. They're not gonna, no one's going to mention it because no one wants to say, hey, should NATO ramp it up and do Article 5 now? They've been attacked. Romania's under attack. You know, no, it's probably a mistake, but um, the war's getting closer and closer. Now, one day, could they use this, one of these incidents, to invoke it? Sure, they could, but I don't think they'll do it here. I think they, they want to sweep this one under the rug. They're just not ready for go time yet. Lastly, I'll end with this here. This is, uh, let me just pull it up. This is basically, let's see if I can expand it here for you. As you can see, a giant whale overturns a boat. This has nothing to do with national security or prepping, unless you're on a boat uh, and prepping, but I just found this pretty intense. This big old whale capsizes this boat. Hats off to this young gentleman here. Looks like first thing he does in reaction is turn around. He's I don't know if he's the one that pulled the guys out of the water or not, but, uh, you know, Quick reaction to probably go help out, looks like. But, uh, hey, always keep your head on a swivel. You never know when a whale's going to turn your boat over. You know, be prepared for everything. That's basically what I'm going to get at with all these stories I pointed out that it's not getting better. We'll see what Biden says tonight. Uh, if it's live or not, well, you know, people will tell. People will think it won't be Biden. They're going weekends at Bernie on him. You know, if you're older like me, you know what that means for the weekends at Bernie. If you're younger... Look it up. Great movie. You'll love it. Fun, fun laugh and all that. But uh, uh, we'll see what's going on with, with Biden. All that what happens with Netanyahu. He's going to meet with Trump. Like I said, I don't believe this uh, that they're they're going to ride Kamala to the end. I just don't see it. I don't think they'll be able to puppet her around like Biden as much. Uh, you know, because he basically had no idea what's going on. If you ask me, so they do whatever they want. Kamala wants to get in there. She's gonna. She's power hungry. She'll take command. She'll take charge, and uh, I don't think she'll let they'll let her push her around as much. And she'll do crazy things. You know, the first thing she wants to do is the Australian gun confiscation. That's high on her list. Um, but I, you know, she grates on everybody's nerves with her cackling and her talking and her lack of word salad. Whatever she, you know, she can't speak or give a speech. Uh, I don't think she appeals to women. I don't know if they're banking on the fact that it's a woman and a black woman. So if you don't. Vote for her. You're a racist and a misogynist, so you got to vote for her, especially you white people out there, you whiteies. Um, if you don't want to be racist, you got to do it. Kind of what they, card they played for Obama when he went in, but uh, I don't think she has the power to, con to sway that many people. She's not an orator like Obama was, who was a great orator. And so uh, she can't be the final choice. Or something else is going to happen um, with Trump and them. So we just got to really watch that. Uh, you know, and, and keep your eyes and ears waiting because who knows what will happen with that and the security issues we're having, the fact that the borders are coming through. There's reports that there's tons of Chinese, um, I wouldn't say, uh, you know, not military, but military-aged Chinese men in the well over 100,000 range that has come across the border. Are they, you know, one of those groups that, you know, sleeps at a time and then wakes up and does stuff? All kinds of stuff happening and at the point when security seems very lax in this country. So I think I beat that story to, to a death on that. So if you have anything else, please comment below. Love to hear from you. And until next time, keep your ear to the ground and head on a swivel.